So I whined a little while ago about our letters used for quick keys, hot keys, tools, etc. You know, the marquee is an M, the lasso is an L, the magic wand is an uh, W, and the move tool up at the top is V, because of course V stands for move, right? Ha! So here's the deal. The move tool, and this is why I want to really point this out, the move tool is up at the very top. And the thing is, it gets confused for the selection tools all the time. So it looks different, and it functions differently too. We have these marquees, and we'll make a selection here. The move tool moves things. I made a selection. I'm using the move tool to move that selection. Kind of simple. And, you know, it, it works pretty well. There comes a point in, well, in our Photoshop stuff where we're going to select things from one image. Oh, let's just say we'll select, oh, this woman's head. And I'm going to move her over to this guy's body. Now, that's silly, of course. But nonetheless, it's easily done. And hit Command-Z to undo that. But here's what happens with the Move tool also. If you hold down the Option key, the Option key will create a new copy of something as you move it. So the Option key and Move tool of a selection creates new copies. That's kind of handy for some things, like this little immature thing I'm doing now of putting this woman's head all over the place. Um, but it's kind of handy to know. So the Option key with the Move tool creates a copy and moves it. Now let's go back in time here again. And I want to point out a couple of other quick keys. It's in another video too, but just for the sake of repeating it, Command plus zooms in, Command minus zooms out, Command zero gets you to full frame, right and left. And while you're zoomed in, you can use the space bar to get the hand and move things around within your frame. Believe me, that's really, really handy when you're doing some stuff. So there you have it. Uh, next up is the clone tool.